this remarkable tablet width with yet another video on the latest update of the remarkable tablet. So here the tablet has been updated to version 1.6.0.6. In order to update, go to your Wi-Fi settings, turn on your Wi-Fi and connect to your Wi-Fi. Once you are connected to Wi-Fi, go to your device settings and here you can see enable updates. Automatically download the latest updates for your remarkable. Once you turn this on, you will get a get an option for checking the update. So once the device finishes checking for update, here you will get an option of downloading the updates. So download it and install the update. That option is not there for me. Once you are finished update updating, you have to restart your tablet and you will get an option here. Release notes. Once you click this button, you can see the you can see the release notes for version 1.6. So what features does it offer? So it has a few different features such as handwritten conversion. So now you can convert your notes to a typed text. So it happens over the cloud and it has been explained here. So here you will, you will get a brief description of each of the new features of the version 1.6. So before conversion you have to set your language, your uh, American English, British English, Italian, Spanish. There are a few of languages which you can choose. And you can as well convert multiple pages at once. And once you are converting them, you can edit the notes before you actually share them through email. So you can edit your notes as they are converting. Again, further new features and improvements include an improved, improved PDF export. So the PDF and ebooks now retain the original quality after export. So here you can see a Im Im image with old export quality and this is the new export quality and the background templates are now true scalable vector graphics for improved visual clarity now we can uh, previously they had given an option for a png support of uh, exp export of the pages now we can export to svg format now the layer menu has been improved and in the ebook you have a text reset button um, easily switch back to the original text settings of your ebook using the new reset button after you have adjusted them for your reading preference. So let us take a look into these uh, features. Menu has been added which is called handwritten conversion. Let's choose one of the languages provided. So you can see English United Kingdom is what I have set. You also have several other languages Greek, uh, Irish, Italian, Polish, Spanish and uh, United States English and F French and so on now let's go back let's close this menu let's create a new notebook and let's test out these features let me write something and let's So now let's convert this page into text. So here we have an option called A. Once you click this, converting, you can see here converting page one of one. So it has converted. How does this work? Features handwritten to text SVG export. So here it has made a mistake. I had kept features, but it has come features. But it's okay. Now let's uh, let's share this. I will just click my email and send. Now it's sending the file. So it's easy. Now let's go back. Let's cancel. Now let's write this is page 2. Now let's try to convert multiple pages. 
now select page so you select here here and now there is a convert button over here you can see here I hope it's visible this convert button once you step press this button yes it's now it's converting page two of three yes page one and this is page two and page three so yes I think it has come pretty well you can see three dotted three dots when uh, page one to page between page one and page two you can see three dots now you can share them easily by clicking the share button and clicking the mail and clicking the send so it's sending the file so now So, um, so how to edit your notes before sharing them so what it says here is that once your handwritten notes are converted to type text they are now in a form where you can easily edit and share them with the others if you edit this text your handwritten notes are not affected to edit the text simply tap the word or letter you want to edit and then use the keyboard to make the changes you want before sharing now let's take a look at this feature So now I'll convert this. Okay, now it has converted. Now let me edit this first point. Bullet points. Now let me see. Bullet points, space, A, R, E. Yes. Okay, I wanted to type awesome, but okay. So here you can see that I can actually edit it by typing something. I can edit it. So, so this is how you edit the document now you can share this document by pressing this button let's cancel this now let's take a look at the layer menu so okay the next feature is the export to SVG format let's check if the export to SVG format is available so let me go back to my notebook let me click on these three dots and uh, here I can see this third page share option is there I can send the text file but I don't seem to get the option for choosing the format Again, if I choose this convert to text, is the share delete. So if I click share, PNG. Let me go back and check this once again. Let me select the entire notebook. Let me click share. Oh yes, this is this is here. You can see send us PNG, send us SVG, and send us PDF. So let me click send us SVG. Yes, I can choose my email and I can send it. Yes, it's working. So uh, the PNG option, SVG option, convert to SVG option is not available for uh, single single pages, but it's available for the entire document. So SVG is scalable vector graphics format. Or so let us look uh, look into the next feature. So new layers menu. So what does this say? So a new three dot menu next to each layer in the layer tool on the sidebar allows you to quickly rename, edit and reorder your layers, helping you add more organization, dimension and creativity to your work. So let's let's see what this is all about. So this is the layers button. So now I can Oh, now I can rename it so this is the rename button you can see here rename over here and I can just click this and I can type uh, 
top yes it's changing the name you can see here top so enter now i will create another layer and i can just click these three dots rename bottom enter now you can see here if i click these three dots over here you can see i have an option for moving up and if i click this i have an option for moving down see here if i click these three dots over here you can see this option for move up and now the top layer has moved up now again i will click move down and this top layer has gone down so this is a cool feature you can you can you can move your layers top to bottom so that's a quick review of all the new features in the remarkable tablet for the update 1.6 thanks for watching